We talked about this on Project Egg Roll this past Saturday, but there's a lot of people who are absolutely furious that this game even exists and the fact that this game is doing so well. We talked about this guy before, Ki Hoon Chan. Like I said, not related, not affiliated in any way, Ki Hoon Chan. He says, I'm so fucking pissed off. This has gone too far. Don't play Black Myth Wukong. If you trust, go and pirate it. Imagine a, a person that writes for, I believe this is IGN, saying, pirate the game. If you enjoy it, I don't want to know. Game, I'm sorry, fuck game science and all the grifters who are doing this to one of my favorite people in the industry. To be honest, you two have done it to yourself, Rebecca Valentine. You sort of screwed the pooch there, saying that... You know, mistranslating what the CEO is saying about hiring new people. There's so many people that they're that uh, they're bringing on that they might have a potential of uh, getting brown nosed, which is an actual thing that happens a lot in China. But this guy don't um, understand that, and it's to be honest, if you guys can't handle being on the internet, just completely remove yourself. And of course, this account is locked. I'm pretty damn sure. But that's not all. That is not all. Right over here. Uh, not this one. Right over here. This person, I believe, I think this is Discord, or I'm not sure what this is, right? Oh, this is, oh no, this is a review. It says, you should not have supported this game. Before you fly off the handle and call me woke, hear me out first, okay? There are groups of people out there who have been marginalized for centuries, and we live in a time in which past wrongs can finally be righted. It's baffling to me that you can play a game knowing not only are the devs proven sexists, but they refuse to include a single iota of diversity in the game. What would hurt it to have a person of intersex traits in the game? Why, why would it be bad to have a single POC in the game? Just one. Before I, oh my God, that's, that's the first paragraph. Okay, like I said, Game science is from China. China don't care about what outsiders think. To be uh, to be all honest with you, right? Look at all the Hoyo verse, uh, you know, quote unquote boycotts, which nothing no, nothing happened with the boycotts. Actually, Zen Zone Zero netted them an additional ten percent in revenue, right? They don't care. It, ha it has to go through the CCP. The CCP has to okay it before it even goes out into the world. Anything that's coming in and going out from China has to go through the CCP. They have to okay it. The, and the thing is, it doesn't. The game is extremely diverse in its creatures. There's, like I said, there's monkeys, there's snake women, there's spider women, there's dragons. There's, why the hell would a game that it's based off of ancient mythology that's written in the 16th century from China? Why would why would you? Why would they actually put a, a person of color, an intersex, uh, even a fucking transgender person in this fucking game? It wouldn't make any fucking sense, especially in a time period. This person is so crazy. Look at look, look at the emotes, baby, and a crying laughing man. That's so funny. A single one, they could be in for five seconds, and it wouldn't hurt you, would it? Don't you think it would make their day to see someone? like them for once oh my god oh define me i can actually see myself you know what all of them they're all fat fucks all right all they, they all look like that crazy ass boar in chapter two all right that that, that that boar that you need to get the sobering pills for all of these fat uh, this person who's alan probably is uh identify as non-binary this probably looks like that identifies as uh they them or zzer or some garbage and i i don't i don't get it it's just a fucking game all right and a single player game and what like, like i said what makes them really really upset isn't the fact that they're that is it isn't just that there isn't a person of color an intersex or a transgender or whatever garbage these people identify as in this game what makes them upset is that the fact that this game is extremely successful extremely successful all right i'm gonna pull up the steam charts once again Black Myth Wolf Kong Steam Charts currently playing right now, 741,000. The peak for the past 24 hours is 2 million. All-time peak within five days is 2.4. That's why they're mad. It's because a game such as this, extremely, extremely popular game, one of the most popular single-player games of all time on Steam, 
and they have to like, but where's, I can't see myself. Yeah, you can. You're the fucking fat boar in chapter two. Man. Uh, who is really the snowflake if that, that will bother you? They don't even have to be the main character. It's just crazy to me that anyone will support a game that's leaning so far to the right on purpose. It's like none of you even know anything about it and it's just bought it because of some World of Warcraft YouTuber told you to. You should do more research before making such an expensive purchase. This game has 90 plus bosses and I've been playing this game for probably 20, um, 26 to close to 30 hours and I feel like I've I have so much more to get out of this game. According to what I heard, there's a total of six chapters, and there's new game plus, and there's actual new weapons and armors that you can get after in new game plus. It's not just the game is harder. There's actually new skills too, which is, that's such a good game. And there's no microtransactions. Versus Dustborn, a $30 game, which is only 10 hours long, with a bunch of BULLSHIT! This is Hell Divers, 16,000. This is what happens if you have intersex, transgender characters, and non-binary pieces of shit and garbage people in your game. This is what you will get. All right? China isn't about that. Do you know what China likes more than anything else? Money. Money. Money is the thing that drives everything. If being transgender, intersex, black, gay, whatever you identify as non-binary garbage, if that, if that actually makes money, if that actually garners high revenue, then you will see the numbers go up. But here's the thing. Every time there is an agenda-driven, um, ideology-driven, intersectionality-driven game, that is your forefront reason why people should buy your game your game will never succeed is because that's all you care about you don't care about the gameplay you don't care about the story you don't care about the you don't care about anything else other than the fact that you have fat pieces of shit and garbage ugly ass characters in your fucking game that's it no one fucking cares about be oh is is there a chick with a dick in it is there a man with a bonus hole no one fucking cares okay and that's the reason why this clown is fucking pissed off. Let's go ahead and finish this garbage, garbage freaking thing that's... Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe this is an actual thing that someone wrote. Instead, you are actively marginalizing people who don't deserve it. Well, you are calling out each and every one of the 2.4 million people. Uh, you're calling them out saying that, you know... Think about how small is the percentage, right? Like, is there even how how what's the percentage of non-binary trans people all across the world? It's probably in terms of like transgender and intersex and all these weird, crazy dogma these garbage people believe in. I would say it's under twenty percent in the U.S. and under ten percent worldwide. I know people will read this and say they don't care, but you should put yourself in their shoes for once. <laughs> Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? Who the... According to you guys, an Asian like me is not Asian because we're so privileged. We're considered white adjacent, okay? You don't tell me what to do, ever. That make. You telling people what to do will make people do the opposite, okay? Oh, you don't- oh, we, we should support this game. That's- I bought this game four times already. Four times. 
Oh man, you don't even have to agree with them. Just realize that people feel less alone when they see themselves in their entertainment. It's just sad that you would purposely be against that. Edit, please just engage like civil people and award the awards don't further your uh, your case. Just because you give someone a clown doesn't mean they're Okay, oh. Please be civilized. Okay, please don't, please engage in civilized people. Okay, uh, uh, this person is crazy. Now, like I accidentally pressed on this thing, but this person is in unhinged. Right? People are trying to add, talk to this person, Alan, now. Why do you people keep adding me? This person said, uh, Spilly E says, I want to have a general discussion on your review of Black Mifu Kong. Since I'm a person of color, Asian, are we considering white people from China and or Asia non POC due to the fact that they're a large population compared to the rest of the world? A POC woman, a POC Asian? I'm not sure what you're getting at. What do you, did you want to say? Like I said, Asians are not considered people of color. We are, according to these people, we are not people of color. You argued on your post about Black Mifu Kong going towards the right with no person of color characters. Yes. Do you have a counter argument or something? Yeah. Are we considering Chinese people in the game as non persons of color? Asians are practically white. There it is. I've been saying this for a long time. Asians, especially light colored Asians like myself, so that would be Japanese, Korean, Chinese, Vietnamese, Taiwanese, um, any light colored Asian people. Now, Indian people or Filipino people like jungle Asians, they would be considered person of color, right? Because their skin's a lot darker, even though they're Asian. For, for me, a fancy Asian who's, who hides from the sun, we are basically white to these people. And the, for the people who are saying that we want to be inclusive, the party of tolerance, the party of inclusivity, the, the party of diversity, you guys are actually extremely fucking racist, man. Holy crap, dude. And that's why I love the fact that this game is doing so well, and it has 10 million copies sold, and that just keeps going up. Big win for game science. Fuck all of these woke tarts. Who gives a fuck what they say? They're just pieces of shit complaining online because, you know, like Mike Tyson said, people forgot how it feels like to be punched in the face. And some of these people, when they get punched in the face by this crazy ass number right over here is doing so well versus their garbage game that's doing not even a hundred players within the past week shows that their ideology, their dogma, their religion, their cult is failing. And you love to see it.